Well, it's that time again, it's more announcements. This time we have Arrow Video dropping some pretty amazing new announcements after a rather timid March. Uh, we have went full bore into April with some really exciting releases and we're going to dive into the computer in a minute, have a look at these five releases that are coming out and just salivate at some of these amazing releases. So first up, we have Clapboard Jungle Blu-ray. Now it's a documentary um, all about the film business. Um, it looks pretty good. It follows the director of Life Changer, talks to a few of the industry uh, people that are there, and just how about you kind of raise the money. Is it something I'm going to jump out and buy straight away? I don't think so. If you've got the Arrow Video channel, I can see that popping onto it. Um, and, and it could be a good one-time watch. I don't know if it's going to have the rewatchability to go back again and again, but it's something that I'm really kind of curious about, especially with some of the bigger names that pop up, like Del Toro, um, uh, it's got Sid Haig, Barbara Crampton, a few people like that. Release date for this one is the 12th of the 4th. Um, and like I said, I probably won't buy this one because there's other ones this month that take priority, but I'm really kind of curious and then uh, interested in this one. So let's move into the Exploitation second movie, which is The Switchblade Sister, directed by uh, Jack Hill, the uh, Spider Baby Coffee, Foxy Brown, those kind of things. Looks very exploitation, which is my kind of thing. And normally I could have seen me going with this. This is a similar artwork to some of the things that Arrow have recently done. Again, there's the, the, the alternate artwork on this one. It looks fun. It looks like the kind of thing that's right in my wheelhouse, the kind of movie that I usually really go for and love. But again, there's more important movies this month. This is one that I will definitely pick up further down the line immediately. It's not an essential, but I do love those kind of exploitation movies. Bad girls gone wild, just fighting, uh, causing chaos, being really twisted and mean. I like that. Um, this has got a release date of the 19th of April which is is interesting let's just have a little look at some of the extras on this see what's here Hi Def English subtitles brand new audio commentary by Sam Dean and Kat Ellinger which will be interested uh, archival documentary ok um, a location I quite like location uh, things where they go back and kind of show what well, what the locations are like now and kind of juxtapose it with images of the old one I don't know if that's exactly what they've got um, it doesn't seem to be too many here some archival and some new things which to be honest it'd just be the movie on this one I'd probably be most interested in but like I said not immediately next up we have Nico Mastaraskis film Death Has Blue Eyes now I've been watching a lot of Mastaraskis whether it be his produced stuff or the films that he's directed recently I really like the cover on this one. Um, there's the alternate artwork. Love was her need, murder her deed. I like the idea of this. Um, as it says here, a gripping paranormal action thriller, The Shades of Giallo, um, from the director of cult classic video nasty, Island of Death. Yes, I I'm, I'm interested in this one. The extras, again, are a little bit sparse on this. We've got an interview with Nico Mastaraskis. Um, we've got Dancing with Death tracks from the uh, Death is Blue Eyes soundtrack. Some other things as well. But again, yes, I want this one. I need this in my collection. I'm going to pick it up at some point. Again, further down the line. Now we're going to get to the two UHDs, the 4K discs that Arrow are releasing now. I already have uh, the limited edition Blu-ray version of this um, set, which is rather comprehensive already. I love the artwork. I think it's amazing on this Donnie Darko limited edition UHD already. The price is a little bit terrifying. We're starting to see the price of the Arrow UHDs really climbing up here. Now this one has, um, let's just jump into the extras quickly. 4K restorations of both the theatrical and the director's cut. So the director's cuts on disc two, theatrical disc one. It's got a 100-page hardcover book. 
and I'm wondering if that's similar to the book that's in uh, the Donnie Darko one already or if it's all new writing that's going to be kind of the breaking point for me on this one um, if it's much the same stuff as I've already got do I really want to buy this or do I want to wait uh, for the, the regular edition because it's going to have the two discs anyway um, there's lots of other kind of archival productions and I want to really check out the extras with this to see how they pair with the limited edition I've already got to see if there's much overlap, to see if there's much new here in this one but this was an outstanding release for me, something I was really excited about. Um, I love the cover, I think that's really terrific artwork. And I'm just, just looking through it all just to see some of the things that's in it. I, some of it does ring a bell. So I'd be interested to check it. But to be honest, chances are I'm probably going to pick this one up. Now it's released on the 26th of April, which is one day before my birthday. So it's happening at a right time <laughs> if I'm looking for a little pre uh, present. And for me, release of the month. Uh, is the Battle Royale Limited Edition UHD. I'm a huge fan of Battle Royale. I love the movie. I've already got the five disc Arrow set, but I'm really looking at this one. It seems to have some really nice extras in it as, as well. So we've got the 4K restorations of the theatrical and the special edition director's cut on this one. Now uh, that's on disc one uh, is the theatrical Disc 2 is the director and Disc 3 has Requiem, which is Battle Royale 2, which I remember seeing way back in the, in the kind of early 2000s. Wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I'd be interested in going back. Um, that's only in Blu-ray, that's not a UHD. And then we have a Battle Royale 2 Revenge, which is a Blu-ray as well, which I, I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, a tribute to Kinji Fukusaku featuring scenes of him on location in Battle Royale 2 and then disc 5 is the Battle Royale soundtrack and I'm not going into all the extras in this because it's extensive it'll be on screen if you want to pause it go to the website and have a look yourself there is lots on here the artwork is outstanding I, I love it it looks like a kind of big box edition. Uh, if we have a look here at this, maybe bring it up a little bit, it's, you can see all the things that's in on it. I love that artwork. Some of it looks similar to the packaging that they had with the Battle Royale set already that came out, but that is a, a terrific set. Um, I'm super excited about this. Now the early bird price on this one is 60 quid. The RRP is 80, so you're saving 25% if you get it just now. I'd be interested to see what's going to pop up on, say, Amazon or some of the other websites, HMV, to see what the price is there. Uh, it's pricey. I'm getting this. I am getting the Battle Royale set. I need to. I think it's amazing. It also comes in a Blu-ray version as well, um, which has much the same extras it's got all the same kind of discs in it just on the lower kind of quality it's five pounds cheaper if that's what you're into i can't wait to see this in uhd i think they've uh, really put a marker down you know with demons coming out this month which i can't wait to get on uhd they really be delving into their back catalogue and just cherry picking amazing movies i'd be interested to see um, what else they're going to release on UHD, it's some real fun movies in there, I hope. I'm super excited. I want to know what you think of these releases. Is there anything there that, that you're going to get? What do you think of the prices of these UHDs? Is it bordering on getting to the expensive side? Because it's a lot to ask. If you're buying both Battle Royale and Donnie Darko, you're paying 95 quid. It's a lot of money for two releases. Let me know your thoughts of this month's releases in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Films.